Hi guys, here is the Frog Hero deck that I took to the Edison Open over the past weekend. So we decided to play three toad, three subs toad, which is the best boy. Uh, triple swap, double tree born and double dupe. We didn't like and we didn't main uni frog, but we'll get to that in a, in a moment. Uh, played one Stratos, one Alias, one Ocean for the elemental heroes. For the evil heroes, we played one Infernal Prodigy and one Malicious, Malicious Edge. Uh, this guy, this is the one. <laughs> so much angst. In this guy, one card. this guy, good. <laughs> he puts this guy. Yeah, so much, so much pressure. Uh, we played double Caius. I feel like I should have played a third. Um, yeah, I feel like there wasn't enough Caiuses, and then one Riser as well. But I definitely could have used a fourth Monarch. So there was five tribute summons altogether. I think that would have been important. Uh, we play one Jinx Junk Synchron, and you never use this effect. You always make armory arm with it, and it just wins you games. So you don't even realize. <laughs> uh, we play three Battle Fader and Gauze as like your hand traps and stop big damage plays. Uh, so that's it for monsters. For spells, we've got triple up start because you know you want to see good cards. We play triple Miracle Fusion because. Ab Zero is a really bloody fucking good card. <laughs> we play uh, two Econ, one common, one ulti, uh, just to mess with people's heads. Did you see the ulti more than the common? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one Equal and one Rotor. That's to search out, obviously, heroes. And then nine times out of ten, this also searches out, uh, this searches out a Junk Warrior, but every very, very occasionally, you just need to search a status to be over like a fossil diner or something, because that does come up. Um, obviously, you're heavy and you're, uh, sorry, you're heavy and you're MST. They're just good cards. Your brain control, which is mad. And then one for one. It's a really good card, but I, uh, <laughs> I'm not 100% on it. And then for the last three cards in the main deck were the three traps and there were three ring blast. I play them over Raigeki because I'd rather put my opponent behind a turn and know what they're drawing so I know I have like some sort of hand hand knowledge versus just putting a card in the graveyard. Would you still like to play Raigeki now after the event and play two or two? <sighs> Possibly. I think it depends, like moving forward if Vayu becomes, or sorry, stays so prevalent, I'll keep this in because against Vayu you put their card back in the extra deck and then it's not in the graveyard to banish with value to make the level seven yeah okay cool uh moving on to the uh side we've got oh sorry the extra we've got the the gauze token obviously um <laughs> got three ab zero good boy one gaia because in the main deck we have the malicious edge which is earth and I never summoned it today, but it definitely does come up, and I saw people who were next to me play it. Uh, we've got Super Alloy Beast Raptus, Raptus because besides Super Poly for good reasons. Uh, Medicals. Medicals. Uh, one Stardust, one Black Rose, Colossal Fighter, and we've got Armory Arm as well because the OTK is is kind of possible with Braincom. Doesn't come up much, but it is possible. One Thought Ruler. This card's just too good. Summoned it quite a lot. You attack over like Gorse tokens in defense. It does attack over Ab Zero. Like, it does loads of things. It does loads of things. It's very good. Uh, obviously a Goyo, a Brio, and a Okuriz. So most of the time I can only make one synchro per like match, or sorry, per game, because I only have one tuner in a, in Junk Warrior. Or sorry, in Junk Synchron. But like Brio pitching like three dead frogs is just crazy. Um, we play one Catasta in case we play fairies. <laughs> Even though it was like everywhere. Yeah. Which is... There was a lot of fairies. There was a lot it of fairies. It was mad, yeah. Someone wins a PS5 and suddenly fairies are the meta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we play one, or well, I played one Junk Warrior 
in realistic terms, the only reason I played it is because it's a misprint. It's the poker misprint. Um, <laughs> you won't, I don't think you'll be able to see it on the camera, but you can see it along the top here and in the text box along the bottom. It's just misprint a little bit, but you might not be able to see it. Yeah, don't think you can, but that's, it's, it's good. that's, that's neat though. Uh, and then one armory arm for the OTK. And I can tell you, this comes up. This will win you games and you will not even know it. I won a game because I didn't even read the effect. Reading's hard. It, especially for Yu-Gi-Oh players. Uh, and moving on to the side, there's a few things I would change in here, but mm, it did good. It did good. I liked it. Uh, so I got two Kaiko. This very good card. Uh, so you, you side it in against Vayu because like, if they don't have a Soroka, they have to norm summon a Greffa or an armor and neither of those get over this so you can like whatever they dump or send you can normal and just get rid of it immediately it put loads of it puts loads of pressure on them because they have to find a way to out this without making their value big so it means they have to draw Sirocco. Like, it's really really good uh double dd crow again this is for like value matchups uh one of my friends decided to main crows in his deck and he said quote it's fucking good <laughs> but yeah it's definitely Crow comes in a lot. It also plays in, against better into like Amaryllis builds and stuff like that. Like it isn't just for Vayu, but like things that are gaining in popularity, mm. like Vayu and like yeah, just, like yeah. I think moving like maybe not in this, but moving forward in other decks that I play, I think this just becomes staple in them. Like it's just two cards. Yeah, uh, we've got one mole. Uh, this is crazy because when you do block someone and they try to get out of it by setting a Raiko, you just normal it and bounce it. It's great. It's so funny. Also, it can make Gaia. Yep. Also, new the Gaia. It it came up so much today where I would I would summon it into into Vayu, and I would just bounce away their synchro, and they'd be like, ah, oh, crap. Like, yeah, cool, whatever. It's really good against um, Ab Zeros as well because you can bounce Ab Zeros, and then you have no monsters on board when the Ab Zero triggers, and like they just waste. It's very very good. Um, I side the Unifrog. I never sided this in, and I'm not sure if I'd play it again. But it's a frog nonetheless, and sometimes it does come up. Uh, got two, two super polys. Uh, shout out to Zach for letting me borrow these. <laughs> they're, they're good, they're good. These come up all the time. Um, I was playing against a Diva Hero, and they, in standby, they went uh, Treeborn, and then main phase, they went Mali effect, and I was like, yeah, super poly, make my own out of zero. That was good fun. He was not best pleased with the situation. <laughs> the ult he just makes it better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They can't respond to the ult. <laughs> uh, double cross out. I never sighted it in. <clears throat> and I feel like it wasn't... I didn't miss miss it too much. Never scared of Raiko going second. No, it's fine. <laughs> no, it's absolutely fine. Because you pitch, you pitch swap. You, you pitch something with swap, special swap, send a treeborn, attack. Yeah, it's like, you, just, you can just force it out really easily. Um, play one, number one of extermination. This is basically knock for traps. Um, I would play more if I had more, because it, it comes up. It comes up so good. Like, there was, a, there was a, I'm not sure what round it was, but I activated it and I banished three D prisons, and that was... Very entertaining. When you told me that you were playing this card, I thought you were playing more than one. I'm shocked to see it at one. <laughs> ah, one's fine, mate. <sighs> no, I would, you just, you I would play more it, if I had it. I would play more if I had it. Uh, one true nade, because it's at one, and just spinning their back row is good. I play it. double pulling the rug for the mirror, and <laughs> actually, it's, it's probably just for the mirror. I don't think I sized it in against anything else really. I get, I didn't play any hero beat, but I might side it in against that. But like, this comes up so much when you can just stop a Kaius and they're like, oh. like it puts them really, really far behind. And it's better to have them bottomless in those situ uh, those situations. It's just better, it's just better. Uh, and then the final card is a Dust Tornado because I don't like back row.